Are you ringing the bell to go outside? Yeah, Maggie has some intelligent puppies, doesn't she? Yeah, the little sweeties. Oh, are you standing up? Yeah, standing up for attention. Hi. Hmm, you get some wet ears because I just cleaned your ears. Okay, so there's one boy in here with the blue ribbon. Slightly curly coat, just enough to make his fur stand up and be a little bit more fluffy looking. Then the darkest one's the red ribbon girl. What's this smart girl, Archie? Got a little white on your chest? The red silky coat. Oh, yeah, smart boy. So that's Ralph with the blue ribbon on his neck there, the only boy in the room. All circling my legs. So the red ribbon, there's Raven. Raven's the biggest, so she may get 23, 25 pounds. And then this, there's my sweet little girl. She's a sweetie there with the green ribbon. She's easy going, Ruby. That's Ruby with the duck. get my calculator out. I'll adjust those on their pictures on the website when I get more exact. There's a little puppy calculation formula I can use on their weights. She's like, hey, I'll bring you a toy. Will you play with me? Raven there with the red string. She's always the first one that wants to go play fetch and play with you. And the little boy. Ruby, you're playful, but you like you like to follow me around. Excited now, huh? He had to play. Look at all these new toys. This is like a playground when they get out in here. Different toys than what they have in their kennel. Uh, yeah, new toys. They get so excited. Don't know what you want to play with first, huh? Yes, we bell train for when they need to go outside and go potty. Are you good at that already? You need to go outside and go potty? Yeah. Let's see how old you are. Only on 12 weeks old? Yeah. Twelve weeks old. Great age to start training because that's when they, their memory's improving to where they can start retaining some information. Say, look how they made your ear so greasy with that ear cleaner. Now you're gonna need a bath. Yeah. Okay. See you later, Mary.
Okay. Bye bye. 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 Put too much air cleaner in your ears. Did I annoy you with that? I'll dry your ears out and give you a bath in just a minute. Just a minute. Look at my little sweeties here. Little sweeties. I trimmed up your eyes. And I cleaned out your ears. And I took new pictures. And then I realized the ears I should do last. But... <laughs> <laughs> I got a little control out of that one. Didn't I? Oh, look at that. You said that feels good. Uh -huh. Does that feel good? We'll give you a bath. We'll do that next. And then maybe some pictures and you'll look all fluffy and cute. Yes, you will. I love it when they lay on their bellies. They like the uh, cool concrete on their bellies. So right now at this age, they're good in here for about two hours before I just I'll open the door and let him go out for a potty break. And actually, if I wasn't filming, because he rang the bell, I would let him go out for a potty break. Yes, I clipped the hair around your eyes. Yes, I did. Look at him play. He's so cute. He's a cute little boy. The fluffy coat. What's up there, huh? He'd be a great working class dog. He shows great enthusiasm. He's inquisitive. He just watches everything. He's already ringing that bell when he needs to go outside to go potty. He'll be easy to train. This one got stuck on my foot. <laughs> you got her, she's independent. You already got all the toys out. So I've never had a golden doodle chew anything of. I used to raise labradoodles and they would go on a mission to chew everything up, take everything off, everything off the shelves. Look at her, she's thinking about getting in there. So what you do is you just get a toy box and you uh, put the toys in there and then you show them where the toy box is. And give them a good variety of toys and they just play with their toys. So say my daughter has six dogs in her house, two daughters, and what they have learned is as long as you keep the Barbies picked up, the dogs don't touch them. But if they're on the floor, that's fair game. But if you keep them like on the fireplace mantle, then they leave them alone. And that's basically what I see in my house too. If I don't want them to touch something, I put it like up on the fireplace mantle. So emotional support dog, I would go with the line ribbon just because I mean, she's so easy going. She'd sit on your lap all day. So that's Miss Ruby. All of them are going to be easy to train. 
I put new yarn on your neck so we could see the blue ribbon on you, boy. Yes, I did. Okay, I'm gonna go give Miss Raven a bath since I got out of control with the air cleaner. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.